So today, I'm doing a childhood favorite of mine, and it's actually an experiment, and I haven't tried it yet, but I wanted to bring you guys along to see what you guys think, hear your comments, and let's see if this experiment works out. So the backstory is, when I was growing up, and when I was a little kid in the 1980s, my mom used to have a gas grill, and she would make a flank steak that was marinated in some type of mustard. I just remembered it. So I texted my mom the other day, and I said, Mom, what was that flank steak recipe that you used to make? And she said, and I follows. It was pretty easy. This is all I can remember. Put flank steak in a bag, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, a little oil, onion powder, garlic powder, let it sit in the bag all day, and then grill it off. Okay, sounds like a good plan. But then, my wheels were spinning, my wheels were spinning, so I reached out to TD from TD's Brew and Barbecue. And I said, hey, I have some of your products here, and we kind of put our heads together, and this is what we found out. Okay, so we're going to marinate a beautiful piece of flank steak from Costco, USDA Choice flank steak. We are going to put it in a Ziploc bag. We are going to season it with his Carni Sutra, which I've had this before on a burger and it was rocking. Actually, I had this combination on a burger before and it was rocking. So I'm gonna season it up with that and then I'm going to also put in the Ziploc bag TD Southern Mustard. So I'm gonna marinate it in this Southern Mustard. It's gonna have that rub on it. I'm gonna let that sit for like six or eight hours, let it live in the fridge. And then I'm gonna go outside on the world's smallest patio, on the Weber kettle, using the slow and sear and gel stubble charcoal. And I'm gonna put it right over the hot coals, flipping it, getting that crust, building that crust, slicing it, letting it rest, slicing it against the grain. Bob's your uncle and this better be amazing. All right, come along. Let's see how this works out. And if it sucks at the end, I'll tell you. But I don't think it's gonna suck because I've had this before and I've had that before and it's really good. So let's try it on a flank steak. And here we go. Now I'm really looking forward to this because it's a super simple cook. So we will just start by giving it a light dusting of the rub here, of the Carni Sutra. And you always wanna pat in your barbecue. And we'll flip it over here. And Costco did all the work for me, really. I mean, I probably could trim a little bit of this, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm feeling a little lazy today. Let's just get it into our bag. This stuff is super, super good. And we'll just get this in here. And I had about a half a bottle left from the last cook. In there, and let's get all the air out. Okay, and so this is just gonna live, like I said, in the refrigerator for a while. And I'll see you guys back in about six or eight hours. Before we go outside and grill, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. And for the people that have chosen to hit the little join button right next to the subscribe button, our channel members and our top tier channel members, thank you guys so much. You guys make the little YouTube hobby possible that we can get good stuff like TD's products. We can have nice charcoal, nice barbecues. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go outside. Like the Jealous Devil, I'll show you how we do that, and then we'll grill this off, and then we'll eat. Okay, welcome back. It's been about six and a half hours, so I got the meat sitting out on the sink, coming up to temperature a little bit. You never want to cook rock-hard, freezing-cold meat of any kind. So today for our charcoal, like I always use, we're going to be using Jealous Devil Max briquettes. And I really love this charcoal. It burns hotter, it burns faster, it lasts a super long time, and the briquettes are really, really big. So I have a little half chimney, so I loaded that up with the Jealous Devil. I have a little Weber wax lighter cube, and I'm going to get that chimney hot. I'm going to pour those coals into my slow and sear with my drip and griddle, which I really honestly need to clean, and we've been cooking a lot lately. And like I said earlier, this is going to be a direct over the coals cook. I'm going to be flipping the meat a lot. The flank steak is really thin, so it kind of cooks like carne asada. So this is going to be like a five or ten minute cook. Very, very simple and easy. We're going to let it rest on the board about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're going to slice it against the grain. All right, I already got some squash and zucchini working with a little bit of butter and Uncle Steve's shake, gator shake in there, in the tin foil. But let's get our meat on.
And my goal is to just flip it every like one to two minutes, three minutes, and just start building that heat, building that color, building that char on there. And I like it medium rare, medium, medium rare, probably like 120, 130 internal. I'm gonna be using my little thermopop to keep checking temperatures, and then uh, we'll put it on the board and we'll let it rest. So the neighbor just came outside and said, wow, that smells phenomenal. And it actually does that with the Southern mustard and stuff. It's coming along beautifully and it smells amazing. All right. I think we're about done. Smells amazing. Okay. Grilled Southern mustard flank steak. Let's see how this goes. Now you can see the grains are running this way. So obviously you're going to want to slice against the grain and I'm going to do thin slices on this. So you saw the temperature reading. Let's see how this experiment goes. Obviously the end pieces are going to be a little bit more well done, which is fine. And for purposes of time saving, why don't we just speed this up and put it into fast forward. <laughs> So it's time for the experiment. I'm pumped because like I said at the beginning of the video, I remember this as a kid and I remember the flavors in my head. So I'm really excited to see if TD can pull it off with the Carney Sutra and the Southern mustard and, and everything like that. So I sliced up a couple bites. So I'm gonna share the experiment with you. Straight up, honest review. You saw me slicing into it. You saw the temperature. You saw how it turned out. It, it looks fantastic. The vegetables came out good. Everything came out good. Okay, here we go. Goodness, it's so, it's a juice all over the board. Let me show the folks. Come on, there we go. Okay, all right, there, oh, come on, there we go. There we go, okay, all right. Holy shit. That is fantastic. That is freaking fantastic. Wow. Wow. That is damn near what I remember as a kid. Wow. The, wow. 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 TD. That needs to go on the website. Carney Sutra, marinade in southern mustard, flank steak, grill it for 5-10 minutes, bring it up to 130, there's your recipe. Wow. Holy moly. That is wow. Thank you so much for watching the video. Literally, put this together because you will not be disappointed. I'm going to call the little boy downstairs and we're going to kill this entire flank steak right now and all the vegetables and then take a nap. That's it. It's done. All right. We will catch you on... I am pumped. We will catch you on the next one. I'll see ya.